hard way Went a bit too far So wrong Oh no Open up my soul But babe how could I know You're cold Y'all it's Friday It's the weekend baby <laughs> Hey y'all so Today is kind of cloudy got some rain coming i think an 80 percent chance and um i don't know am, am i the only one that like those overcast days i like it I, I really really do it's cool it's nice my car say 66 i think it was in the 50s this, this morning the highs was supposed to be in the 70s oh and i'm ashy i can't stand no ash on me oh my goodness i keep this little lotion i got it from sam's when i bought the big one can y'all see that the jurgens it's really good though it's good <clears throat> but anyway y'all yeah uh what i was talking about how's everybody doing uh you know i don't know i'm just weird i i kind of and I, uh, somebody told me before, they said, why you be worried about them people? The people don't worry about you. They don't know me, though. But what I'm saying is I kind of feel sad when people go through divorce and stuff because especially when you see them in the courtship and, and then when they get married and stuff and it seem like they're getting along so good, then they break up. Isn't it kind of sad? It is to me. It is to me. Nobody know the, the, uh, the whole story. You know, some people take, a lot of people, most people take stuff to the grave they've been through in relationships. They never even tell anybody. So you don't know what all a person has had to go through. You really don't. And it's not really our business. <laughs> yeah, y'all. But I was just, just coming on. It's, it's Friday. It's the weekend. I bought me a daiquiri Sunday. And I, I took one sip out of it. It was kind of strong, too. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so the month of November, we have this this November, we have five holidays because the even number or ye, the even number years, we are off for um, election day. So we were off the first, the eighth, the eleventh, the twenty fourth. I think Thanksgiving the twenty fourth and the twenty fifth. So that's five days, and then. I scheduled my colonoscopy on the 11th just because we had so many days off already. I really didn't want to take any more days off in November. And then I also had some other doctor's appointments. It seemed like all of my appointments kind of got pushed back because I usually have my appointments um, my birthday month. Excuse me. And that's how I was able to keep up with them. But then after the pandemic, it just threw everything off. But I still try to go and have all of my tests and everything done. Like my mammogram, I go to my gynecological appointment. That's in um, the last of next month. And I got to get another cleaning the last of next month. But uh, well, the reason why I'm talking about this is y'all take care of your health your teeth your eyes i just had an eye doctor's appointment because i realized i need some more glasses so you know you could get so caught up in other things you forget to take care of yourself especially as mothers running a household and then you 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 the the, the, the you like run a um a small business and then your your work your job is you are a uh in a supervisory managerial role it's a lot people don't understand and um, so sometimes that's why I try to do stuff where I can remember, you know. And so I never forget to do it all for my birthday. But I'm getting better because what I do, if, if I forget to write it down and I realize I, I call and actually put it on my calendar so I won't forget. Because one thing I will remember, I remember my sister-in-law. She was like me. She had her mammograms every single year. <clears throat> one year she went everything was fine the next year she the next year when she went that's when they found the cancer so and we even had i even had a lady at church she had had her mammogram for the for the year but she did her own self-examination and found a lump and it was cancerous so man i mean your health is important you only get and i you know i i know like I'm from the south and we like 
fried, smothered foods and stuff, but I try to be cautious of cooking with too much grease or adding extra butter when you don't need to because I'm gonna be adding like too much cheese because really and truly, sometimes you put so much of that stuff, you even can't taste the main entree. Like if you pile up too much of cheese and everything else, you can't even really taste what you're putting it on top of. Instead of being macaroni and cheese, it's cheese and macaroni because it's too cheesy. It's you know, it's a it comes to a point where it's, it's like the diminishing marginal return. Marginal return, I'm sorry. The more you put on there, the less the decline in, fa in flavor is. But yeah, I'm all over the place. Y'all know I be rambling, but I be trying to help somebody, you know. And I and, and, and I got a friend who used to comment on all of my videos. And I'm kind of worried about her because she's in the healthcare field and I hadn't I hadn't seen her. You know who you are, sis. If you out there, just say I'm okay. But she used to respond all the time and I hadn't seen her uh, respond to my videos. So I hope everything is okay. And I hope I haven't said anything to offend you. If I have, you already know my heart is pure and it's not intentional. But um, yeah, so I thought about that last night and I went to go and look and I, it's been some months since I've seen it. So I just hope everything is all right because you just don't ever know. You know what I'm saying? We don't, and that, that's another thing. When you lose somebody, somebody you know on the internet, if 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 their family don't get involved with all that, you may not ever know. May not ever know. But anyway, life is just so precious, and I, I try my best to be kind to to people and.